Hi there, Marlena here from AmendmentPurpose.com. In my last video, I showed you how to create a straight line using Quick Line when you just hold it onto the screen. And I showed you a bunch of different ways that you can manipulate that line by making it longer, shorter, um, or angled in a different way. I am now going to show you how to create lines in Procreate using a function called Drawing Assist. To use Drawing Assist, we're going to go into our wrench icon and then we're going to go to Canvas, Drawing Guide, and you can see when I turn on Drawing Guide, I got some grids there, but we're going to go into Edit Drawing Guide. Here you can change this grid however you like. I'm going to turn it up so you can see my lines. You can change the grid size if you like. It doesn't matter for this particular thing we're doing. But what I'm going to do is turn on assisted drawing. What assisted drawing does is it turns on this thing where it says assisted on your layer. And no matter what I do on the screen, it's only going to allow me to draw vertically or horizontally. Essentially, it's only going to let me draw how the lines on my grid are formed. So this is pretty handy if, say, you wanted to do something like create a worksheet with some lines. I'm using a, a brush that is changeable based on the pressure and stuff. So one thing you might have saw me just do is this line's too long. I'm going to do a combination of using this drawing assist and I'm going to also move it by keeping my pencil on the screen. One thing you might have also noticed is when I kept my pencil on the screen, I was able to change that line. So that's handy too. So say that I want to create a line here, but I want it to attach to the one above. If I were to just try to draw that, it's not going to work. But as soon as I keep my pencil on the screen and lift it up, I have a straight line that connected to that. So that's one of the drawing guides. Okay, I'm gonna turn off this layer, add a new layer, and it does still have drawing assist, but let's say that I don't want that. What I would do is go on this layer, and I'm going to actually turn on drawing assist and then turn it off. And now I can draw however I want. Usually, if it doesn't have something that says assisted on it, it's not going to keep everything horizontal and vertical. But in this case, I think because I turned it on drawing assist in the drawing guide area, it stayed on. So usually, if I want a drawing assist on, I can turn it on in the layer. And there it is, right? And then I can turn it back off by unchecking that. So I'm selecting the layer six name, and then I'm clicking on drawing assist. Now I have it off, and I can draw however I'd like. So let's try out some of the other drawing guides that we can use. I just turned off the last layer, turned on a new layer, and I'm going to go back into the drawing guide, edit drawing guide. I'm going to show you a few things that you can do within drawing guide. So let's say I want a very precise diagonal. What I did was I grabbed this green dot at the top of the screen and I'm moving that around. I can also move it however I want with the blue dot in the middle. And that becomes more relevant when you're doing something like a symmetry, when you want to draw something in a different corner. But in this instance, I want some diagonal lines. Turn on drawing assist, and now here I am. And now instead of them being horizontal or vertical, they're all in this diagonal. So that's pretty cool. I'll show you another one. Go back into drawing guide, edit drawing guide and we have this isometric drawing guide. I'm gonna keep it as it is, turn on assisted drawing, done, and you can see it's going along with those lines. So there's only a certain type of line you can draw here. Now this one I think is super helpful for a specific thing, and that is, I'm gonna go back into my drawing guide, edit drawing guide, take this green dot, and then I'm going to move it so that 
the line that was this way is now vertical. You can see that better maybe when I turn this off. And so now if I were to, let's try, I'm gonna to try to get it on the line as well as I can. So what I'm doing is I'm creating some lines that I can now draw on. So what is this? It looks like it, it's almost like calligraphy, right? And so I've created my own calligraphy drawing or line, okay? So then if I were to create another line and turn off, a, or it doesn't matter if I turn off assisted there, I'm just gonna make sure that I don't have assisted on here. And now, you know, if I was gonna do calligraphy along that line, I'm not sitting in a great, <laughs> great position for this, so that looked really wonky. But you can see I'm able to do calligraphy. So that's pretty cool. So that was by changing that green node to change the direction of my drawing guide. So I'm gonna turn those off, turn on a new one, and I'm going to go back to edit drawing guide, choose perspective. As you can see in the top it says tap to create a vanishing point. So let's just make it up here. So there's my vanishing point. And you can see it has diagonal lines going up towards it. So now if I were to draw, first I gotta turn on drawing guide. So edit, I'm gonna put on assisted drawing. Done, oops. This happens to me a lot. When I hit done, I hit this white instead and then my lines go away. If you ever feel like that happens, just make sure you change the color of your grid back to something that you can see. So now it's on assisted drawing. And so I'm only going to be able to draw in perspective. with that horizon line. I am not an expert in drawing and perspective, so I'm actually <laughs> kind of just playing around here because I, I don't know the direction it's gonna let me go in. So, but that's what's cool about this, right? Because Okay, I'm just not great at perspective. Let's just leave it at that. So I'm gonna go back into my drawing guides again, and I'm just gonna show you the symmetry drawing guide and the way that you would use this here. I have a whole post on this, but let's just go into a rotational symmetry because that's kind of fun. And then I'm going to do radial and make sure that I can see my lines, hit done. I'm actually gonna turn on, it is on assisted drawing. And I would do this with quick line by holding it down. So this one isn't really giving me that option of, you know, just a straight line. It's just doing the radial symmetry. So that's just showing you a little bit more about drawing guide. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to improve your line drawing naturally with Procreate.